Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Burns and I am the English language teacher here at Moses Y Beach. And I teach students that are multilingual learners. So I teach students who speak different languages or have moved to this country from another place and are now learning with us at Moses Y Beach. So hello to all of you and any families that are with us tonight. Um, I'm going to be reading to you Sam and Dave Dig a Hole by Mac Barnett and John Classen. And this book is going to be read um, with permission by Penguin Random House uh, Publishing. So thank you to Penguin Random House. Okay, so this story has the best pictures in it, and that's why I chose this book. My two daughters, who are in kindergarten and second grade, love this book so much because one of their favorite things to do is dig in our backyard and get really muddy and look for fossils. So I'm going to read you this story, and then I'm going to tell you something about my daughter found in our backyard. Okay, after reading this story, she was inspired to go dig. Okay, Sam and Dave dig a hole. You can see they're at the bottom of a really big hole here. Pay attention to the pictures in the front of this story. Okay, Sam and Dave dig a hole. On Monday, Sam and Dave dug a hole. When should we stop digging, asked Sam. We are on a mission, said Dave. We won't stop digging until we find something spectacular. Look at this picture. What's happening over here? The hole got so deep that their heads were underground, but they still had not found anything spectacular. We need to keep digging, said Dave. Boys and girls, look at what I'm seeing right here. And look who look who knows. Dogs know, don't they? <gasps> Look at this picture. Hold it up so you can see it. So they kept digging. Oh my gosh. If they just go straight down, look what they'll run into. <laughs> They're right above it. They took a break. Dave drank chocolate milk out of a flask. Sam ate animal biscuits he had wrapped in their grandfather's kerchief. Maybe, said Dave, the problem is that we are digging straight down. Yes, said Sam, that could be the problem. I think we should dig in a different direction, said Dave. Yes, said Sam, that's a good idea. <gasps> So they stopped right here, and now they're going to dig in a different direction. So instead of down, maybe they'll go this way, or they'll go this way. So they're going to miss this big gemstone diamond. But look, look who knows. Who is it? Who knows that the diamond is there? Yell it out right now if you know. If you said the dog, you're right. <gasps> they did. I have a new idea, said Dave. Let's split up. Really? said Sam. Just for a little while, said Dave. It will improve our chances. Oh, so Dave went one way and Sam went another. You can see, oh my goodness. They're missing the big one. But they did not find anything spectacular. 
Maybe we should go back to digging straight down, said Dave. Yes, said Sam. That is a good idea. Oh my gosh, look, look at this huge diamond. They're missing it. If they had gone just a little bit more. Let me get the picture on the screen. Sam and Dave ran out of chocolate milk, but they kept digging. They shared the last animal biscuit, but they kept digging. And I don't know, can you see what's down here? Oh, who's gonna smell that? Our friend the dog, huh? Let me get this in there. Okay. After a while, Sam sat down. Dave, he said, I am tired. I cannot dig anymore. I'm tired too, said Dave. We should have a rest. <gasps> but who is not tired? Look, who keeps digging? Let's see if I can get that in there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that dog. Dogs always know, don't they? Okay. Sam and Dave fell asleep. Oh, but look. The dog did it. Uh-oh. <gasps> he popped his head out the other side. And look, the, the bone came all the way through and is falling down. Where is it falling to? Oh, <laughs> Then Sam and Dave were falling. Oh my goodness, but look, it looks like they're still asleep. Not the dog. They're pretty tired from all of that digging. There we go. Sam and Dave fell down, down, down. I wonder where they're going. And you can see their faces. Look, they kind of wake up as they're falling. Like, whoop! This isn't how we fell asleep. Where are we? Where are we falling to? <gasps> Until they landed in the soft earth. Well, said Sam. Well, said Dave. That was pretty spectacular. Attention to those pictures. Maybe you saw something, something that was different. Check on this page and see if you can notice something different from the beginning. Then they went inside for chocolate milk and animal biscuits. Hmm. Does that look like the same house from the beginning? There's the dog. The dog is looking at the cat and the dog saying, wait a second, something's not right here. Now let's go back now that our story is over. Pretty good one, right? And let's see if you can find the thing that is different. I, I think some of you are shouting it out to me already. Something's different about this house from the beginning of the book. Let's look and see. Let's go back and see what's different. Okay, before I show you, if you think you know, shout it out right now. All right, let's look and see. Here's the beginning of the book. And here's the kid's house. And there's the cat. Look up on the top of the house. Okay. And then let's go to the back of the book. Wait a second. Are they at the same house? <gasps> or did they fall through time into another reality? <gasps> it looks like it's different. Do you see the chicken at the top? And there's a duck here. Do you see the red tulip flower at the back? 
It's a blue flower. And there's one more thing that's different. I'm going to see if you can figure it out. Oh, did you get it? The apple tree and the pear tree. Well, I love this book so much because kids love to dig outside in their backyards and they're always looking for something spectacular. But usually, do you find something spectacular? Not always. Well, one day, my daughter Kennedy was outside digging in the dirt. She loves to dig and look for special rocks and special fossils. And she's always looking for fossils. And she hadn't found one yet. And one day, after many, many years of looking for a fossil, she came inside with a rock that had a small fossil of a worm on it. And she wants to take it to the Peabody Museum to have them look at it. So don't give up on digging in your backyard. Ask your parents for a special spot where you can dig, not in their garden, somewhere yucky, somewhere muddy that they don't mind, and look for something spectacular. And you can find this book at your library. And I know Mrs. Poirier has a copy in our library at Moses Y Beach. Happy digging.